Mark, we know that uh, applying for a job, almost every company asks for a resume. Uh, and that's only one part. The other part, as we talked about, is the networking, personal branding, relationship building. But in terms of resume, we know that recruiters have between six or seven seconds just to scan to see if there's an alignment, to see if there is the person applying very much has the skill set that they are looking for. And in that sense, what tips you have for job seeker from your four or 10 years of experience checking resumes, giving tips, what they can do to be shine or to be different from other people who are applying? Well, I think one of the things we have to kind of uh, backtrack a little bit on Recruiters have as long as they want to, to check a resume. <laughs> Let's get that straight. They only spend six seconds or somewhere around there because they get so many. Yeah. So for one job, they can get oh, hundreds of right. resumes. Yeah. Especially so, nowadays with everyone is out looking for it. Especially. So therefore, that's why they have the, uh, the applicant tracking system to kind of uh, get rid of the low hanging fruit. And, but really they're uh, most companies kind of uh, uh, customize it to their liking so that, uh, you know, they're excluding most of the people and many times they'll exclude good candidates yes. and keep the ones that are the ones that actually pass through that venue. So the way that you're going to stand out is one is make sure that you're, uh, sending up the document the way that uh, it's, uh, it, you know, like if you're sending it through Indeed or or something like that, they have a certain format. You want to mm -hmm. follow that format as a character format and all that. You want to keep out the fancy stuff and you want to be sure that mm -hmm. that it's readable for a human. Yeah not particularly for a machine. So you want to bet on the other side, the last decision is going to be the person that is going to say yes to, because you could pass with the ATS, but they narrow it down further. Um, that means it's going to be somebody that that's easy to read. Uh, they can scan and get the main points from and that the clarity is there. So, you know, all those things matter. Uh, not having too many bullet points, yeah. uh, make sure that you are written, writing in a very concise but clear manner, and to also uh, make sure that your timeline is exactly what it should be, yeah. because you don't want discrepancies coming up based mm. on, you know, uh, you know, months and dates. Yeah. And we talked about uh, the applicant tracking system, and we know that those keywords are important. And I always tell my clients, like, have the job description in front of you, see what are the keywords and maybe use them in their resume. Do you recommend that to use the same words? Um, it, most of the time, yes. And I would even say that uh, sometimes those job descriptions aren't even written um, you know, in the best format or written really well. Mm -hmm. So not only I would talk to a person about the job description, but you should try to talk to somebody in the company. The best person is that is the person that holds that current job to see if there's something that might be different or that something that you may need to add. Mm -hmm. But other than that, yeah, most of the time you're going to write towards the job description and there are plenty of web tools that are out there that you can upload the resume, mm -hmm. you can upload the job description yeah. and see how they match. So do you recommend if someone is applying for a job and checks on LinkedIn, who, who is that person there? Do you recommend to reach out to that person or to reach out to the recruiter saying, hey, I applied or, hey, I want more information about the company. Do you recommend that to Wing? I absolutely do. And, and you should talk to the, if you can talk to the person that used to hold that position, if it's a new position, mm -hmm. may not have the exact match, but you yeah. might want to talk to the competition who still has that position oh, okay. just to see how that will line up there. And then two, you could talk to the recruiter. And a lot of times recruiters mm -hmm. sit around and wait for people to yeah. ask them questions and yeah. they don't. And that's an opportunity. If you're being recruited, they want you to win because they get commissioned mm -hmm. on on your being able to hire. Yeah. So there might be some questions they won't be able to answer like salary, yeah. but
but they will answer questions like, you know, like what is the job like and, and how true is it to the job description and uh, what are the main uh, things that the employer looks for. Yeah. So the questions like that will help you get it a uh, leg up. Those are great tips. Thank you, Mark. And I hope the audience will implement some of the tips that we talked about in their resume when they're applying. And tune in next time for other great question with Mark. Thank you.